G'day Vlad here, back at it again like I was with your mum last night. So today we've got something a little bit special. We have a slinging game on Arena. So my teammate Irock, who is an amazing person to play with and is so good at slinging his allies, is playing as the Teutons. The logic behind this is such that the Teutons have cheaper farms, which makes them a good slinging sieve. And also, they have a team bonus of units being more resistant to conversion from monks. Now where the Bengalis come in is they have elephants that are more resistant to counters, that being, you know, spears, camels, monks. And they've got conversion resistance against monks which is just brilliant so combining the two you have these mega conversion resistant elephants that are harder to counter and you get more of them faster because of the slinging from iro so the idea behind this is you take out an opponent really fast and then you're much more powerful than the opponent left and iro's job is simply stay alive and give me his money <laughs> Okay, so I fast forwarded it for your convenience. We didn't want to go through all the Dark Age nonsense. We're getting to the point where I'm pumping out one elephant at a time at the moment. I've got my Siege Workshop and printing some armored elephants. The Franks, sorry, the Poles player, because our enemies are the Poles and the Turks. The P Poles player is sort of going forward with some stables. And based on how many he's got on stone, he's probably going to do a castle drop. Quite a late castle drop, mind you, seeing as Irock and I are both about 1,100 1v1 elos. You'd expect the castle drop to come out a little faster than this. So, already got some armoured elephants and some battle elephants. Um, green is coming over with knights. Not what I would have expected from a Turk player. I would have expected hand cannons or a fast imp. But here we are, especially against um, Teutons and Bengalis. You'd think camels would be really useful, but they've opted for knights. So here we go. And straight away you can see my army's far superior. But I'm playing it a little bit dumb. They have five villages here. It would have been easy to kill and deny this castle. But instead I choose to go forward with brute strength and ignorance and just fight under the castle. Let it be built. And see what happens from there. So at the moment I'm building a couple armoured elephants. I've been slung a lot of gold but not a lot of food. So the balance is a little bit off. But... It doesn't really matter, the castle's down, blue's on the back foot. We'll speed the sucker up. And it's not looking good for blue. Green just lost some knights, so those knights did nothing. His eco is pretty lackluster. Both of our ecos are better than his. Blue's eco is very lackluster, and this is looking really good for us. So I decided to do something a little bit surprising and attack green. The logic behind attacking green is it takes pressure off yellow, who cannot defend himself, and then it opens up the way for a 2v1 later on. So we'll fast forward, triple fast forward, no one wants to see elephants walk slowly across the map. Already I can see that that's not going to work, he's building behind it. So I go for this corner here. And he does try to wall behind that, but it's too late. The elephants are through. And now the elephant in the room is this. That little house wall was never going to work against elephant rams. Elephant rams are just so powerful. Okay, so we're at about the 26 minute mark. At this sort of elo, when the players are 1,100, you expect about a 30 minute imperial age. Blue's got a defensive castle. That lot of good that's doing to help them at the moment. And uh, Red is practically dead at 28 minutes with a whole heap of elephants in his base. Nothing to defend himself. 
And the game, to be honest, looks all over already. I mean, maybe the Franks, sorry, the Poles could get pikes, but they don't even have halberdiers. So Poles really don't have a counter to this at this stage of the game. They could create a hell of a lot of monks, but it's just not going to cut it because the elephants are super resistant. And I can print out elephants faster than he can print out monks. And now this slinging is just getting ridiculous, like 500 food, 500 gold at a time. I don't even have to micro, I'm just sending elephants willy-nilly, just patrolling them into blue at the moment. And their castle's now doing some help, but Pike against Elephant just doesn't cut it. He really needs halbs, and he can't get halbs. Yes. And this from here on out is pretty much GG. See, this is the power of the Tutan slinging Bengalis. Um, I would love for you guys to do your own version and then send me a link in the comments down below. And thank you for watching. Let's quickly have a look at the stats for those who are interested. So military numbers. I killed 110 thanks to the slinging of IROC and lost 45. They killed 42 respectively. Eco, food collected, 14,000 food. <laughs> IROC, 10, so he would have given me a lot of food. Wood, so we've pretty much won the Eco. They've got more stone, but their stone was no good. Their castles and their town centres just melted to the sheer number of elephants and elephant rams. Is this OP? Doesn't need to be nerfed. Let me know in the comments below, and remember to like and subscribe. Have a good one, mates, and see you next time.